In the last video, we created a custom input for our blog post entry. In this video, I want to go over creating a new content type in which we'll use a JSON field to construct a custom app which will use the SDK to pull data from different entries. Let's take a look at my content model. Here I've got the blog post content type that we were previously working on, and now I have a new metadata content type. The metadata content type is going to contain a reference field, which we can link to posts, and a meta field, which will be a JSON object. In our case, I'm going to go into the settings of the meta field and change our appearance to be our custom app. I can confirm these changes as well as save. And now back in our content, I'm going to open up an untitled meta content type entry. And as you can see here, I've got a link to the first blog post we were previously working on, as well as a meta field that simply has a hello world for a component. So let's jump into the code and quickly take a look at what that looks like. In the code, we have our field component where I've got my hello world here. To make things a little better, I'm going to do two things. First of all, I'm going to import use effect so we can start a resizer. And I'm also going to import the note component from Forma 36 so we can add some styling. Ultimately, what I want to do is take the character length of the title field of our blog post and show that as the meta content inside of this field. So first things first, in our field component, let's use effect and make use of one of the SDK's built-in functionalities to ensure that the size of our component makes sense. So here I'm going to access resizer. Back in Contentful, you can see that the area in which our app is showing up in has decreased in size, and the Start Auto Resizer is just a useful utility function that will allow us to maintain a proper height for our component, regardless of the content that's inside of it, without having to do any kind of manual calculation. Next up, taking our Note component from Forma 36, let's add it into the code here. So I'm going to do a Note component, and in here, let's write in character count. And for now, let's hard code in zero because we're not sure what the character count is going to be. And we'll remove our hello world boilerplate code and go back to the UI. So here we now have a character count and we're ready to start getting our information from the blog post. So we want to get the amount of letters in my first post here and show that as a character count in this component. I'm going to import use state from React so we can start to set state when we get data from Contentful. In this case, I've also added a line to set the character count as well as keep the character count in state for when we do use the SDK to get the actual character count of that title field. For now, I'm going to replace our hard-coded zero here with the character count variable that we have in React. Nothing should really change. So when we go back into the UI, we see that nothing has changed. But just to confirm that our changes are working, I'm going to set the default state to one. And back in our UI, you can see again that now we have one. So our React state is up and running, and now it's time for us to grab the information we want from the SDK. In order for us to grab the information about the reference post, we're going to need to access the post field inside of our current metadata content type. I can do this by accessing props.sdk.entry.fields and then the field ID, which in this case is post, and I can get the value of that post. To understand what that means, let's console log out the reference post object. In our console, we can see here that the reference post is a, an object which has the typical contentful sys field, which has the ID of the post we're looking for. Again, this ID corresponds to this blog post's my first post blog post. So we're going to want to grab that blog post using the SDK, which will be an asynchronous call, and we'll get the title field of that blog post. 
Back in the code, I've replaced our console log with some new code that gets the entry using the SDK. Again, accessing the SDK through props, I'm now going into the space methods and calling the getEntry method. The getEntry method takes an entry ID. And again, we're able to get this entry ID by using our reference posts sys.id property, which is the ID of the entry of our post. I have then a promise which returns some data that I'm going to log again to the console. Let's take a look at what our entry data actually looks like. So again in Contentful, I've got the console here open with our entry data. And as you can see, it comes with a fields property. In the fields property, you can see that for our English US locale, we have a my first post. This is exactly the data we want to check the length of so we can start to update that character count. In the code, I've accessed the title field that we just looked at. Now I'm going to use our set character count method, which we established at the beginning, to set the character count of the title field by accessing the length property of this string. Back in Contentful, we can see that the character count is updated appropriately and we have a character count of 13. And my guess is this is also including the white space. This is a first look at how to get data from an entry that isn't part of the current entry inside of Contentful, but using the code and using the SDK, you can access this data in your app and use it to cross-reference between different entries. Just to wrap up, what we've done here is we've taken our field component that came out of the box with our Create Contentful App CLI tool. We've created a character count piece of state as well as a setter. And in our use effect, we've started the auto resizer, which helps us resize our UI appropriately, as well as grabbed the reference field of the post inside of our metadata. And using the reference field, we were able to get the sysid which allowed us to get the full entry using the sdk.space.getEntry method. And in doing so, we were able to grab that title field out of our post, check the length of that title field, and set it as our character count, which ultimately gets added to our note component using Forma 36 here, is the note for the character count. And that's how we get started using the SDK to get data about different entries and render them inside of our app in our space.